yes, so yes i got placed at wcc ping and uh, pwc now when i got this news i got just one day before my deloitte mm -hmm. and when i heard this news i got very overwhelmed and that day i didn't slept at all i just slept for two hours and then went to give my interview and i don't know my mind was not working or what he was giving me long long scenarios which i was not able to i don't know it didn't went well it was not my day or whatever so i didn't got selected at deloitte but yeah i'm happy i got pwc and uh, you know uh, publicity sapient but now there are like line of interviews which i have like uh, one i have at um, on i mean tomorrow i have megro hill interview i don't know how is that company megro hill but yes uh -huh. i'm looking forward to take I more think, i think i already have a student from magro hill um uh, let me let me pull the details and um, uh, let me sync you with him and uh, many many yeah. congratulations uh, it's okay about deloitte thank you thank you more. we will crack deloitte in i people. think your videos your videos has helped a lot i mean uh, i mean everyone knows you at my home because i always listen your videos your interview question of the day my husband like you have started again <laughs> in the car also i just listen let me listen to this interview question of the day thank so you. yeah it helps me a lot so thank yes you so thank much. you and the interview question of the day was uh, uh, i always wanted to have something like this where we get a new question every day i always try to uh, uh, make complicated questions but then i also feel that i have a variety of students uh, freshers as well so i try to keep it moderate and sometimes questions are very easy so you students say that oh this was very easy um, but i always try to put up a challenge uh, uh, do not put the answers uh, thank you i i today met with a student uh, who was from us and um, uh, i had a connect with him and he told me that uh, he he has shared my youtube channel with his church group they have a church group where they study sales force uh, from the beginning and then he shared my uh, youtube channel with his church group and they all watch uh, my videos uh, in the church group meeting so that was also very uh, overwhelming and uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, it's all your hard work to be very frank um, now i do not do much in the uh, uh, much of the teaching in the group uh, most of the things are done by the community members and the students only all the questions shared by you all the practice you have done and obviously going through the recording um, is uh, uh, very difficult i must say so thank you so much for doing that and i hope we'll continue this i my my refrigerator is now empty i want uh, uh, sweets yeah yeah so sure. from... i live in central noida only mohit yeah. so uh, yeah looking forward to meet you Same let's time. have a meet up and where we can all meet yes i uh, when i come to delhi dreaming i want uh, everyone who is in the delhi ncr just ping me i'll set up everything all you need to do is to tell your availability and uh, i'll take care of everything i just want to meet every one of you it's been so many days and uh, we'll meet we'll party the success and we'll do some uh, uh, sure, sure, sure. so uh, mohit one more thing yeah. uh, is micro interview like uh, difficult to crack or how is it my i mean it's a product and what cloud do you do they use uh, it's a product based company i think they have communities as well uh, but uh, i had a discussion with the uh, one of the student who was working there so i just need some time to remember everything and then come back to you uh, coming to interview it is not going okay. to be very difficult did not have very difficult sa uh, salesforce setup is going to be easy mm -hmm. uh, uh, whatever you know revise those things they are not going okay. to cover all the salesforce things because uh, as a product based organization they'll only be concerned about the things they have sales cloud service cloud yeah. community cloud along with the lwc knowledge fundamental knowledge admin knowledge and deployment related thing how you do the requirement gathering how you communicate with clients is very important for them because uh, uh, there'll be different different teams who will be who will be using salesforce and they'll be coming up with their problems so communication is a very important part requirement gathering is a very important part how you work with the ba how you work with the testers how you work with the deployment team is going to be very important now uh, this is not going to be very difficult trust me but let me sync you with my student on that and then uh maybe we can all together discuss how it will be okay 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 thank you cool
हाय हाय अर्पित आई आई गिव यू टाइम इन अ मिनट हाय शोलाक यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन यू हैव रेज्ड योर हैंड आर यू देयर नो यस सर या हाय मु यस आई एम एबल टू हियर यू टेल मी या हाय मु फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I I would love to thank you, thank your videos as well. Uh, I've just cracked Cap Gemini, and I think I reached out to you a while back. Uh, like I was looking for an opportunity, and I got laid off by a company called Macedon. I was working in a startup, hmm. and uh, uh, really, really, uh, your videos were really, really helpful. And uh, I would love to thank you for that. and just wanted to ask you one thing like i'm a i'm so i joined early but still should i keep on giving interviews like i'm getting opportunities i'm still getting calls so is that advisable or shall i just join and uh, get into a project as soon as possible see uh um, now how i normally take it is i always at least go for a plan b uh, because it is very common to have things go south at least have a plan b so although all the people might criticize me for saying that uh, candidate already has an offer why are you suggesting him to have another offer but i at least go ahead with just two offers at least two offers because anything can go wrong okay um, at mm. least have a second offer for your backup plan and then you can uh, relax after second offer if you have everything what you need in terms of ctc in terms of location and everything then we are okay uh, then we can say that okay now we are good but without having plan b it will be a mental burden if anything goes wrong in the process okay and this is what why i'm saying this is because based on my past experiences things go uh, uh, sometimes may go wrong during the process some things may say okay anything related to background verification or anything anything can go wrong okay they may say on the day of joining that uh, uh, okay sorry we will not be able to onboard you uh, we uh, don't have position or the client project got delayed or anything like that so at least have a plan b for your own safety for your own mental peace okay and then you can say okay now we are good Okay, so okay. please get one okay. offer for me, and uh, then I'll ask you not to apply further. Okay. okay, okay, thank you. And one more thing, like I got communication from the manager that I'm getting into a project or experience cloud in which we would have to improve the LWC components. Like it's an improvement project. Hmm. So, would you suggest, uh, like, I don't have extensive experience in LWC. So, would you suggest some resource so that I could specifically learn how to debug well in LWC? Like, I, I don't have, I've developed components from scratch, but they were basic components like data tables. So, I don't have that great of an experience. Yeah, did did you uh, do that uh, seven projects for uh, five by Salesforce too? seven projects no yeah uh, so in the in the udemy there is a course on uh, uh, on lwc hands on project by okay. salesforce troop they have just seven project not not much theory uh, for theory they have different project but you already know the theory so just go with that project they have small small seven projects and do that this will be good for your own confidence and uh, with lwc when the things comes up then only we start digging on to those so don't worry don't overthink you'll be able to do okay don't worry about it do okay. that seven projects that will be good for your confidence it will be a confidence booster and then we will see how it comes okay 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 thanks cool hi chaitanya hello mohit uh, my question is uh, i'm currently in a big company payout is also good But I'm thinking to start preparing for the CG because the exposure is not good in the current company. So, so sometimes the work is related related to the beta loader, and sometimes it's not more about the coding, not uh, exactly coding. But uh, so to start preparing the CG because it's a good company. Deep. The work is related to the payments uh, also. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, uh, what I'm thinking is that I'm forgetting the things that I learned earlier when I was in the class. 
to uh, and it will also take some time to uh, get prepared for the companies and also i haven't got any certification so what uh, certifications will you suggest me to get which to start uh, applying to the companies see work wise they'll always be good phase they'll always be normal phase where you will not be getting much challenging task when you when you face okay when you feel that okay company is good i'm not getting good enough work you'll have to take different challenges maybe you can take a challenge of new certification maybe you take a challenge to learn a new cloud maybe you take a challenge to revise your existing thing work wise i'm telling you i when i was in uh, my last organization sometimes i used to create reports also but that is a part and parcel of your job they they're not paying you to do the coding they are paying you to solve the problems and be there whenever any problem comes in okay so it's okay sometimes we do not get enough challenging work at that time it is not very good idea to think about changing job immediately see job market is not that good to have a job change just because you are getting bored in your current job there are different ways to take take up that uh, uh challenge but if you feel that okay you have been here for long enough now whatever you were supposed to learn from here you are already done then only think about changing otherwise it's a it's a way time taking process like changing job is a very time taking process uh we'll have to give it a proper thought so if you if you feel that no oh, this is good time for you to change talk to me let me have a one on one discussion with you and then we will see if this actually is a good time for you to change or you are just getting bored and you need a new challenge okay uh, actually it been only 8 months as we to company this actually hmm. so see hopping also is not a very good thing uh, it will affect your resume so uh, we'll have to be very careful i'll talk to you on this don't worry we'll have a one on one call okay okay sure nice. yes thank you and uh, what uh, certification should you suggest me what certification like the pd1 and the platform developer one is the basic platform app builder you have pd1 and the app builder no 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 pd1 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 no i don't have any of the certifications just go for the yes, specialist yes. okay go for the pd1 yes okay all right hi sk go ahead please yeah yeah uh hi mohit so my question is like uh, how we are supposed to go and apply for interviews like do we need to depend on naukri or do we need to depend on linkedin or if we update the resume and everything in naukri will the people approach the hrs approach to us or uh, we need to apply manually because i see people are getting placed and uh, i've been looking out for job change uh, in uh, from certain time but uh, i'm not able to get the interview scheduled and stuff so just wanted to know if my approach is correct or do i need to apply manually for getting them scheduled okay okay see it's a combination of multiple things now it is a time where we'll have to do everything whatever we think might work for us we'll have to try it okay so apply on linkedin daily okay you might not get call back from them when you apply they might not call you back but apply even um, after that daily apply in the morning and keep on applying every day from naukri okay from linkedin keep on searching for the jobs and whichever relevant jobs uh, have been posted last 3 4 days try to apply that also a lot of uh, people do the job posting uh, uh, connect with them try to have a conversation with them and try to get referrals from them also we have a group where we talk about uh, referrals also uh, people people working in this organization when their company starts hiring they do tell in the uh, group so uh, introduce yourself in the group tell them that how many years of experience you have and you are looking for a change and ask for referral i am very sure that if, if not today then people definitely will think about you whenever they get a relevant opportunity for you okay but don't buy okay. premium don't buy linkedin premium uh, they do not have any role in the um, not much role in the job search okay mm -hmm. and uh, one more thing mohit so whatever project i'm working on currently this is my first project in salesforce and uh, unfortunately it doesn't depend on any 
cloud i mean it's completely customized code it doesn't depend on sales cloud or service cloud or whatever whatever it is the license it is based on the sales cloud however it does not use any of the functionalities related to sales cloud but uh, if i go for interviews people would expect us to work on one or the other cloud right so what am i supposed to do in that case i will come back to your question i am sharing link again in the chat please join that link and then i will take this question okay okay and one more thing uh, just wanted to clarify so i just joined your course uh, interview preparation so the related group is nothing but interview prep recorded students that's the only group associated with it right nothing else i am sure okay. okay. that i can answer okay bye yes sure thank you